The only thing you can send to your future is your prayer. It can go and wait for you. Your prayer can become your protocol. It waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow. It checks that tomorrow is ready for you. And it, if, if it finds anything in your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of God in your life, it can... To imagine there is no representation of that generation in your lineage. It, it will be, it will be a, a joke and flattery beyond your imagination. They are everywhere. Are we together? They don't die fast. They don't get old. When they are getting old, they exchange human beings to elongate their own life. They sit down and keep watching the rising of men and the falling. They are not human beings. If they were possessed, we can deliver them and intercede for them. Let me tell you this. There are people you will sit down interceding for their salvation and God will tell you, don't waste your time. You don't know what species these people are coming from. You will think that you didn't hear God well. God will say, look, I am telling you this. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Listen, did you notice that Jesus never preached to the scribes and the Pharisees? The only one of them he preached the gospel to was Nicodemus. Why? every time he met every other person he spoke to them about the kingdom the crowds the kingdom but when he saw them he was always insult you brood of vipers he started from john the baptist he never called them human being he said you are vipers what is a viper is it a human being you appear as if you are human beings when he was eating with the people they were always in his crusades Yet he never paid. I saw the way it disturbed me for a long time how unmerciful Jesus was to these people. Not once did he preach any gospel to any of them. Destroyers of his ministry. Every time they saw kindness, everybody was happy except them. Notice they were the only ones who got angry at everything good. It was a group of them. We are going to pray. Oh. We are going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. I'm not a killer. I don't kill. But I know that I've been instructed to crush the head of any generation that is not humans. If you're offended, you can go home. Come tomorrow, I'll talk about favor later on and other things you like. But this night, if it is to rise, huh? If it is to rise in power and in life, then let me tell you there is a generation, it is not repentance. It's not, oh God, touch their heart. If they don't repent, no! There's nothing about repentance there. These are not human beings. There's no preaching the gospel for salvation. Are we together? When they saw Jesus casting out devils, they looked at him and said, this is Beelzebub, the prince of demons. And he said, ah, if you call me Belzebel, then by who do your fathers? So there were other people casting out spirits by another agency, not Jesus. There were strange people in the Bible who were destroyed. There were other people that God would go out of his way to preach to. But there were others, that land, there was no salvation. Are you ready to pray? Tonight is a very simple prayer. If you don't know what to pray, just pray in tongues. But we are going to pray. Listen to me. Listen to me. There is a name that the Nephilims are called. Two names that will constitute our prayer tonight. One, they are called watchers. Do you know what watchers are? Huh? It is the offspring of these that were called familiar spirits. Their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted. They are called watchers. Not watchmen. 
waters. Should I give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirits? Although in this case he was not one of the Nephilims, but they called him a madman. But that madman went to stay in a strategic cave. When Jesus was going to the other side, the spirit said, go and meet him. Who told the madman Jesus was coming? As soon as Jesus got there, here was a madman looking at him. And the demons start to speak. Have you come to destroy us? We know you are coming to liberate this territory. But we are the watchers over this territory. The moment Jesus casted them out, immediately somebody's business went down immediately and it made them to drive jesus out of town they said jesus leave leave please leave you are making us lose here this place number two they are called gatekeepers you know what a gate is is the mystery of access that opens you up to a whether to to healing to grace to anointing there are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers they are not humans they sit down and manipulate the destinies of families please pray oh when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but tonight rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray and the seed of the woman hallelujah listen the watchers they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so so they declare over this territory no woman marries a good man why because a good man with her will produce a good child and that child can be an evangelist that will change that land so they are watchers the moment how many of you have seen that somebody just says, I love you? Something happens. It's like a report sent in the spirit. Immediately. And something happens. Immediately. I want to give you a job. And all of a sudden, the watchers. Lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command, I command the sword of vengeance, the sword the sword of vengeance upon every entity, upon every entity manipulating my destiny, manipulating my destiny, manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, 
Every covenant, every covenant over my family, over my family, every covenant, every covenant over my loved one, over my loved one that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ, and is bringing us failure, and is bringing us failure, is bringing us pain, is bringing us pain, is bringing us defeat, and is bringing us defeat by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I shatter those altars. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door. door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given Satan, Satan access. access. To visit me, to visit me in dreams, in in dreams, dreams and, encounters. and encounters. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare that door is closed now. That door is closed Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come up from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my life. I break your hold of my Hallelujah. Just two more prayers and we're done tonight. Listen. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place, I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? 
in the name of Jesus, in the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus I declare, I, I declare, declare that the gospel, that the, the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones, reaches all my loved ones right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the gospels, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness. Or they plant something in your child. You give birth to a child who becomes something else. It's not normal. We are going to pray. Listen, every sister here, when it's time to pray, lay your hands on your womb. Listen, I'm blasting tongues and pray. I will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit. Lift your voice and pray. of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as humans male or female I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I decree and declare let that fire separate you and them right now separate you and them right now separate you and them right now Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today. Let fire land on that lineage tonight. Lift your hands. Was he pray? The altars of impotency, the altars of barrenness the altars just keep your hands lifted of poverty 
the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage in many lineages represented here right now i decree and declare let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen i'm praying now i'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. I cause a separation between their spirits and God. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. let me pray for you if there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now but there is something programming your remaining there 